My name is Michal Řehák. Uh, I'm running a web development company called DevMates, where we specialize on implementing Drupal mainly for media houses and magazines. And recently I'm personally involved in implementing Drupal for Czech television. And today I would like to present you how we made the content uh, publishing for our editors better and easy at the same time. That is a great experience for me to see the difference between implementing Drupal for small to medium companies and large organizations such as Czech Television. And it's a completely different world and I recommend everyone to try it out too. Uh, so the vision in Czech Television is to merge all the individual systems uh, that are very often written in different programming languages and frameworks into one uh, Drupal that would work as an intermediate among all the other systems like video streaming, uh, teletext and HBB TV, etc. Uh, to have one single system sounds great. Uh, all users would be working with, with the same administration system and working with all the systems from the same backend. The developers would be working on the same platform, developing the same system, and everyone would be happy. But uh, there are also the users, the editors, journalists, who work with the existing systems for years on a daily basis and those are one of the most important user groups that will work with the new system and if the new users don't accept the system positively then the whole project would end up badly so we need we had to make sure the new system we had to make sure the users are convinced that the new system is better than the old one and obviously the best way to do it is to make the new system better than the old one. So we put strong emphasis on communication with the users. There has been a lot of interviews going on with the editors, with, with the journalists. And we needed to figure out what to do better and ensure that the new system is accepted positively. So uh, we figured out that the old system is able to place articles during publishing on certain positions. So we had to do this and do it better. And we came up with a list of features that the new system needs to do or be able to do. Uh, for example, we needed to allow editors to set different positions for articles on, di on different pages which means you have an article, let's say, in politics section on first position, but you want the same article to be on third position on home page. That means you need to uh, keep different queues for different pages in the website. The editors also needed to be able to place only a few articles in that queue. That means uh, the list of articles is sorted by date, the latest article would be the first article, the second latest article would be second, and then you skip the order and you display the specially featured article on the third position, and then you continue with the rest of the order of articles. Another inter interesting feature is to s be able to set a certain position, for example, in 10 minutes from now, that means for this queue that you have for home page, you need to have so-called sub-queues uh, that represent the time, which means uh, you have an order that applies for now and you have a different order of articles that applies in 10 minutes or 20 minutes, etc. When you're editing an article, you're on the editing form and you pin the article to certain position, for example, to the first position on home page. 
and there is already some article pinned on the first position, you need the system to automatically move down the previous article to second position and also do that automatically for all the sub queues in future to keep the, the order consistent. And all of that, it's very important to be able to preview on front end, also in future and also including the unpublished notes. There's a tricky part with the unpublished notes because Drupal doesn't keep taxonomy index for unpublished notes, but there's a module for that. So we figured that out too. And the new, the new system also, no, oh, sorry, the, the new module needed to be compatible with views and taxonomy and other existing uh, country modules that we already used. and. We needed this solution to be reusable. So when we looked what Drupal has to offer at this time in core and in contrib modules, we came up with these features. The first is, I'm sure everyone is familiar with the checkbox sticky act top of lists that allows you to say that I want this article to be at, at top of all the lists, which means it doesn't allow you to make it sticky only for certain pages, and obviously you can't set positions, like second position, third position, etc. So we couldn't use this. Uh, another solution that worked for me in past would be to use the flag module that allows you to define different flags for a combination of a page and a position, but with the growing number of these combinations, this solution is becomes too complicated and slow and for us also unusable. A very good module for setting positions and queues and sub queues is uh, called node queue we figured out that this module would be too complicated uh, to change and apply it to our features that we needed to have on the website, like the previews in future and uh, having our own order by, by date and only change this order when we need this. So we came up with our custom module uh, that I would like to show you as a live demo, so be prepared for the worst. Uh, I installed a copy of this module on a vanilla Drupal website. I devil generated some content and created some taxonomy for the website sections. And we can have a look how the queues work in real world for us. So when we when we create the queues, uh, you choose that you want the queue based on a taxonomy term. In this case, we can use home page. We give it a name, home page, and the queue size says how many positions we keep we store in the database. So when we save this queue, oh, I already had one. Sorry. <laughs> then we can have a look at the queue, how it how it looks. Uh, when we save the queue, all the positions are uh, determined by the created date. And now we can start setting our own positions. So let's say we can drag and drop this article to the second position and say we want this article to be on the second position. And you can see the difference between the uncored article and those who are in the queue sorted by the, da by the date. Now we can have a look at the, ho at the home page. 
and this Windico article is really on second place. Now we can have a look at the setting encores in future. We take another article, we put it on fourth position, and we set an encore to 12 o'clock. And it automatically creates a sub queue that we can preview on the back end and we can see the article on the fourth position. Uh, the positions can be also edited from the node edit form. We made this module compatible with the SHS module, the simple hierarchical select. So when you <coughs> select a category that has any queue existing, you're immediately able to select the position for this queue. So we can set the position for this article to be number one, save it. And, and see what it does on the back end. Yeah, go ahead. I didn't understand the concept of the sub queue with 12 o'clock. Does that mean it will change when it becomes 12 o'clock? <coughs> yeah, exactly. When when the time comes, uh, the new sub queue takes place, and the old queues are deleted automatically. Is that a date time? Or is it not? It's a date and time. You can schedule it for tomorrow, oh, okay. 12 o'clock. Yeah. Uh, so now, when we pin the the article to the first place. We see it in the queue now, and it will be also on the first place in the queue in the future. Uh, all the defined sub queues can be cancelled if you don't want this queue anymore. You can just delete it. How many sub queues do you have? As many as you want. Uh, another great feature is that you can preview this queue, like I mentioned. So we can take a look and with an URL parameter, you are now able to preview the queue in future. Uh, like I said, it also works with the unpublished nodes. There's this, this node, Pneum Visis, that we can now try to Encore for, uh, let's say, one o'clock in the afternoon. It will create another sub queue that will take place at one o'clock. All the previously pinned articles are still pinned, and there's this new article unpublished pinned on the tenth position. And when we when we preview the page, it appears as an unpublished article in the list. The module has uh, some basic settings. That you can choose the node types that you want to work with the queue and also on our website, we made it one step further, and when you're editing uh, an article and having a scheduled publishing, so when you have a case that you want an article to be published in 30 minutes, then you can set a position for that article and it will automatically create a new sub queue in 30 minutes from now. and the article will be automatically published as well at the same time. Uh, I believe that this concept can be used 
with uh, a lot of websites that work work as a magazines, and we couldn't find any solution that would work like this. And we would like to publish this module as a contrib module. Uh, it's a shame I wasn't able to do that until this day. But in a matter of days, uh, I will publish this module, and we will be looking forward to see or get some feedback from the community uh, and discuss the possible integration with NodeQ because I, I believe that having a separate module wouldn't be that good and it would be good that the modules cooperate together. Yes. Did you happen to also evaluate draggable views? Uh, you mean on the back end? The module of draggable views. Yeah. Uh, no, it's not. Did, did you evaluate it? Did you test it? Uh, yeah, it was one of the options as well. Yeah. But we also needed those pop-ups that allow you to set the positions for futures and uh, so we'll be happy if you give us some feedback if the feedback is good or bad we're all prepared for that and if you would like to be part of these interesting things you can get in touch with uh, Zdeněk here from Czech Television Czech Television is hiring we need more people and thank you for your attention and now if you have any questions you can go ahead The articles appear in the queue automatically when they have the taxonomy term selected. And when you create the queue, all the articles are already there. There's one case when like I said, there's a setting for the queue when you set the queue size to 10, and if there's an article on, for example, 20th position, and you want that article to appear in the queue, then there's this autocomplete field where you just write. <laughs> there's probably just 10 articles. But you select the article from here, and it will appear in the queue at the bottom, and then you can move it wherever you want. What about you? views for Yeah, uh, all the output on the front end goes through views. I can show you the views structure. The module is fully integrated with views uh, through relationships. And in the relationship, you can use either the particular queue or you can use the argument from URL that automatically selects the queue that you want to use. And then you just sort by the queue position and then by date or anything else that you need. Sorry, once again. Okay, so the question is uh, that here when we select the category at the node edit form, we can only choose a position and not the date. And for this, uh, when you select a position here, it automatically gets set for the current uh, sub queue at, at this current time. If you want to schedule uh, the position for future time, we use, like I said, the scheduled publishing that will allow you to set 
I, I want this article to be published in 15 minutes, set a position, and this position will take place in 15 minutes. So thank you for your attention, and I'm sorry that it was quite shorter than it was expected. And thank you. And Did you show your website?